Hey gang, Ross Brand here. Uh, it's late at night, but I wanted to jump right in because I saw that StreamYard has added its on-air webinar feature, and I wanted to just check it out. So uh, let's check it out together. So I'm going to go hit Create, and in addition to live stream and recording, there's the new on-air webinar feature. It says host the webinar on StreamYard or embed it embed or embed it so you can embed it on your website for example you can host it right on Streamyard. i believe you can also multi-stream it to social as well and it says live streams and webinars are also recorded uh okay so this gives you uh the option to create a webinar so i'll do that uh first use of on air uh, uh Testing the webinar platform. Uh, webinar options. You can require registration. So you can require registration, which means people have to give you their email, uh, which I won't do for this one. You can turn on the live chat, and you can make it available on demand. So for registration, viewers will be asked to enter their name and email address to watch. You can view and download this list if you're the host of the webinar. For live chat, viewers watching the webinar on StreamYard can engage with the chat. The ability to embed the chat is coming soon. Um, and then uh, available on demand, viewers can watch the recording after it has ended. So I'm going to leave live chat and available on demand checked. Uh, I won't check registrar. Um, if you subscribe to the pro plan or above during Cyber Week, they double the number of webinar viewers you can have within the StreamYard on-air platform. So typically it will be 125, but if you're either already a pro plan member or you join during cyber week that number will be doubled and you can get up to 250 250 people which is an awful lot for a webinar uh, i'm not going to schedule for later i'm going to go ahead and create the broadcast okay so i have created the broadcast let's look at the options i can invite guests i can edit i can share let's see what that means and i can increase my viewer limit so if I were to share with viewers, this is the link, and then that is the embed. Okay, so I'm going to copy the link. Let's do that. Uh, and I'm just going to throw this into Facebook and let people know. All right, so let's go ahead and enter into the studio. Obviously, the mic is working, camera's working, and we'll enter the studio. I'll put myself on live, and there we are. Um, and it says go live. So let's do it. All right, so we are live. And so we will find out if anybody's here. I did not intend to schedule it. I, I didn't check the scheduling. Maybe it schedules automatically, but it's scheduled for me to go live at 2.15. But I am live now, <laughs> and here it is. And again, um, if you're watching this on the replay, I'll leave it up. Um, basically, I put a comment here. Hi, welcome. Say something so I know you're here. Do throw a comment in the chat. And your comments show up just like they would uh, on any other broadcast if you look at the screen it shows you how long you've been live it shows you how many live viewers and again within the StreamYard platform I can have up to 250 live viewers so if you join this week and you can join by going to livestreamuniverse.com slash StreamYard they will double your users uh, for anybody on the pro plan or above so if you're already on the pro plan you're going to get that double baked in uh normally the pro plan is 125 users but for cyber week uh for anybody new who joins during cyber week and anybody who uh has already been 
on the pro, pro plan. If you're already on the pro plan, you get a double number of live viewers within the StreamYard platform for your webinar. So that would be 250 if you join this week or if you've already joined. Again, LivestreamUniverse.com slash StreamYard to sign up. So otherwise, this looks very much from the point of view of the host. This looks very much like you're hosting any other StreamYard broadcast. Um, uh, you have, you know, your comments. Um, you have banners. Um, I can go into... I don't even know which of my brands I've used <laughs> most recently. I can go into, let's say, Livestream Universe. I can put livestreamdeals.com up on the screen um, and I can do that kind of thing uh, your branding I can put the display name on I can change it to the the different uh, the different designs different themes just as I would uh, for any other broadcast you can add your logo um, you know, you can put the StreamYard logo on and, you know, in this brand, I don't have my own logo. But if you do, you can, again, pro plan and above, you can add your overlays. Um, you can you can play video clips, countdowns. You can add backgrounds. You have the option of uh, playing background music. I enjoy putting this on under my uh under my broadcast sometimes I'm not sure what the volume is since I don't have headphones on so I'll shut that off but you have the option of doing that as well um, again we are live on air which means we are really broadcasting within the StreamYard platform not broadcasting out to social media I have the option of embedding this on a website and I can also multi-stream it. So um, you can edit the details. Um, let's see. This broadcast is already live. Can't change start time. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? So I can add other destinations. For example, I could decide to go to the Livestream Universe Facebook page. And let's just go ahead and do that. Um, there's no time. So let's just go ahead. Save changes, and we should be live in just a moment on Facebook. So we've added the Livestream Universe Facebook page. Welcome if you're watching us on uh, Facebook, on the Livestream Universe Facebook page. I'm Ross Brand from Livestream Universe. I'm testing out the brand new webinar platform. It's called On Air from StreamYard, and I love the possibilities of this. First of all, you are live streaming uh, within the StreamYard platform itself. Um, so if you want to do a webinar, let's say just for people who sign up, and there's a way to uh, ask the viewers to register first in order to get access to the webinar inside StreamYard, which allows you as the host to capture emails. That's one really cool aspect of it. Um, you can also embed it on a website and and you can multi-stream it. So in addition to playing within, within StreamYard, I've now added an additional destination and sent this to the Livestream Universe Facebook page. And now when I go to the little I uh, button, little I logo that's next to the live, it tells you I've been live for five and a half minutes. And I have a whopping zero viewers uh, within StreamYard. I did not promote this at all. And I have zero viewers live on Facebook. It's also uh, about 1230 uh, in the morning um, on the East Coast of the United States. So uh, here we are again. Uh, if you're just joining us on Facebook, because I just added that as a destination, uh, this is the StreamYard on-air webinar platform. It, we are broadcasting live within StreamYard, um, and we are also multi-streaming it out to uh, the Livestream Universe Facebook page. Um, you have the ability to add comments, so uh, like so and like so. Just 
basically it's like doing any other broadcast you would do on StreamYard, except that it's not necessarily going to social media. You have the ability to have a controlled audience. You can bring on guests. There's a chat. It's it's really if you've used StreamYard at all, it's it's a very familiar experience. So um, I just wanted to test it out. I don't think there's much more to say about it. If you're familiar with StreamYard, it's really just a, a few clicks. And instead of choosing to go live, create a live stream or create um, a recorded video, you're just choosing to create a webinar. And you go in, you, you select the on air and you just add your information and you get started. Um, and again, it's very familiar. If you've if you've used StreamYard at all, this is just like using it any other time, any other way. Um, it's it's very very familiar. Uh, you can change camera layouts. You can bring on guests. Everything you you love to do with StreamYard, you can do um, using this platform.